Hey guys, Orly here from your Women's Gate Review channel and today we are reviewing the Tortuga Expandable Backpack. In this review, we will have sections it off until we summary features, fit check, comfortability, see how it feels on the female body. We will do a wee airline test, water test, pack it up, run through some pros and cons. And of course, if there is anything that we have missed that you would like to know about this backpack, then just pop us a comment below and we'll be sure to get back to you. Okay, let's get cracking on with the summary. So this is priced at 250 US dollars. It is made up with 630D Kodora nylon, which is absolutely amazing. You've also got YKK zippers and Wujin hardware. So it is a dimension of 48.7 by 31.8 by 17.5 in centimeters. It is a volume of 27 to 32.5. So you can, it is in the name, expand this backpack. When it is expanded, then that centimeter there for the depth from 17.5 goes up to 21 centimeters. And it is a weight of 3.6 pounds. And without the hip belt that you can remove, it is a weight of 3.2 pounds. So in terms of colors, it only comes in the color black, which I personally am a fan of. I haven't seen Tortuga do any other kind of colors, but I have reviewed their Travel Backpack Pro 40 liter, which was a couple of years ago now. And that is still of what, one of my favorite in terms of like longer travel, especially for the comfort. And also the fact that I just feel like they do it so well for travel purposes with anti-theft and also it not being overly flashy to look at. It does hold a lot of flexibility with this bag. As mentioned, you do have an expansion so you can expand it up if you want to. You can fully, fully, fully pack it out to the max. Some of the pockets do become compromised when you do pack the main, the main compartment. So you'll just have to kind of wiggle it and like decide what what's worth keeping and what's not basically overall style though i definitely feel like it is better looking and more flattering looking on the female body than the travel backpack pro was because that can sometimes feel a bit too overwhelming which this is just feels like a bit of a perfect size so tortuga do offer worldwide warranty they offer 30 day returns and they currently only ship to the us hawaii and alaska okay let's get cracking on with the features so tortuga always keep it quite simple with their brand in here as you can see this is the main event here at the front and it just goes in line with keeping it really simple for anti-theft purposes if you are using this for a travel bag by no means am i not saying it's not attractive but it's not branded so much that a thief's eye would probably be more attracted to something that is a bit more branded. This is quite subtle, might not know what kind of brand it is. So that is great for that kind of style. And then they have it like subtly embedded here into the hardware as well. So it has this kind of clean look to it, right? So it doesn't feel like there is a lot going on. Now you do have one, two, three, four kind of compression straps here on the sides. It's just really helpful for things like if you wanted to place a tripod into this compartment here, then you can kind of secure it in a bit better as well. And you can also compress in the bag if you didn't want to use that full main compartment here, which we'll get into in a minute, then you can do that. And that is on both sides as well. I really do like the kind of buckles here. I think it works for the overall aesthetics of this backpack. And that is on both sides as mentioned. And you can kind of maneuver that and fit it to your own kind of needs. Now on this side, you do have a handle that is here. So if you are compressing that in, that can kind of be tucked away and hidden. Or when you do open that up, that is accessible to you. Now this is really well cushioned absolutely stunning no complaints in regards to that and then you've got the same style of handle here on the top as well lovely padding just really comfortable and enough space for your hand to actually fit through sometimes brands can be quite stingy and like keep it really low and then my fingers literally can't fit through them so you've got your handles compression straps now you've got that handle here as mentioned and then we briefly touched on this compartment so opening that up you've got this mesh stretched pocket where you can place in a water bottle as mentioned a tripod or even an umbrella whatever you fancy we are going to pack it up as usual and we'll just see what we can kind of get in there i am going to go to the back here just for the pure fact that i'm going to take off these hip belts in a minute just to reduce the kind of clanking about so the back system 
Tortuga is one of my absolute favorites for comfort. I have never found an issue with them and I, I just love how the system is. I love that they've implemented load lifters. We'll get a bit more into that when we get into the fit check, but that's just the basis of it and my love for it. So what you do have is this gorgeous kind of mesh padding, right? Absolutely stunning and that's embedded on the back as well. Then you have a line down the middle that creates some airflow for you as well. You could also use this for your luggage slit, set the bag. Now I'm not a fan of having a luggage slit that way. I do prefer it vertically, but it is there if you need to use it. Then on the straps, you do have a rotational sternum strap here which I absolutely adore. Then it is this kind of clickable close, a little bit of branding on there. You've also got your dangle stopper, which is handy enough. A lot of stretch to that. You've also got external features here that you could attach to if you wanted to. And as mentioned, this kind of brings up to your load lifters, would just create a better fit, especially for the female body. That is an absolute shout for that. Then you do have a little lip hole here. Then you have your straps that you can adjust with a dangle stopper as well to prevent all that dangle dangle. I'm just gonna undo this. This is your hip belt system, which I absolutely adore. You do have some space in here. Now they don't have uh, pockets on this one, but it's the same kind of mesh that is on the straps and on the back system as well. So when that's placed on your hip or waist, wherever you're placing it, then um, you've got that little, like cushion that you really, really need. Would have loved to have seen a pocket or something here just to be implemented. Then you do have dangle stoppers as well, but we'll get more into that. We'll be able to see a little bit of a fit in the fit check. But if you didn't want those on, then you have this system here to maneuver, remove them and take them off the bag like so. And you could plop them inside the bag or just stow them away somewhere else. And you can kind of see the back system a bit better. I'll just create less kind of clanking throughout the review here. So we are going to go into the other compartments of the backpack. Let's start off with the top pocket that we have here. This is kind of like a quick and easy access pocket. Now with this backpack, they haven't coated the zips. I'm an absolute fan of coated zips. It's just one of my favorite things. They have chosen not to do that. This is on the top here. Bright interior that I absolutely love. Easy clean material as well. So that is superb. And then you do have your key lash. Um, this kind of key lash is grand. I just prefer maybe a bit more of a metal one that's kind of like rotational as well, but this does the job. There isn't a lot of uh, fabric to it, but enough for you to set that in there. Pocket runs till about there. So enough room for quick and easy items that you need to get to, such as your phone, keys, purse, and all that jazz. I do love that on the zips here, they have custom them as well. It is embedded. Beautiful. Closing that off. We are gonna go into this side pocket, which is hidden. I absolutely love. Unless you were really close and it was pointed out, you really wouldn't see that kind of pockets so that's nice and discreet little pull and then in there is kind of all the space right right down to about here it doesn't run like the full amount so you are stopping about here to the end so you've got like this much of the pocket it doesn't run up and down so that is nice to just swing the bag around and have a few items in there as well Again, nice bright interior, absolutely love it. So this is for the expansion. This is the pillow that you're looking for. I like that they have kind of made a difference for this one, so it's easy to kind of find for yourself. Then, if you can kind of see, you can work through coming here, but it works nicely as a little bit of anti-theft with these buckles. Open that, and that opens up your expansion here, of course. You don't have to open that. But that just gives you a little bit more room for those longer days. Then onto this pocket. Absolute, I wanna kind of start clapping for the fact that they've implemented lockable zips. Absolutely adore that. It's so highly appreciated for me. That is one of the things that I look for, especially when you're traveling. It's just nice to note that you do have that. 
So going into this main pocket. Now, what I love about Tortuga is that they don't overdo it with organization. They've given you the space for you to pack up. You can use their packing cubes. You can pack it up how you want. There's a lot of flexibility for you to do that. So you've got this space, simple, to the point, easy clean material, again, bright interior. And then on this side, you do have a mesh pocket, which is handy if you have like underwear, bras, socks, everything, you can kind of place that in there. And again, it still holds a lot of flexibility. We will pack it up so you'll be able to see the load that you can get in there. Uh, that mesh is lovely as well. Very durable. It doesn't feel like one that if you got got caught on like your keys or something then it's gonna rip so that is that lovely stuff i'm gonna close this up just for the fact that all the straps are banging off the table then we are going into this back pocket here again lockable zips thank you so much tortuga you are amazing we're gonna open this like this ah. This material is soft lined. Let me turn this down. Oh, not up. I don't know if it's gonna pick it up. It's soft lined fleece material, absolutely gorgeous. Come on camera. That's really nice for you to place in your laptop in here, not having to worry about padding it up either. There's a lot of cushion here and a lot of cushion on this side and obviously with that kind of fleece line material then it's well protected. This just leads you to the hardware that you can absolutely take out if you wanted to remove that. But that is just there. I'm going to give you a measurement of this pocket. That is where the pocket runs up to. I'd say about 16 inches is your best, best bet. It goes just slightly over 16. About 12, I would say. It's a 14 inch. Plenty of room. Plenty of space. Okay, let's pack her on up. I'm gonna pack it with clothes in the main pocket so you can kind of see what you can get in there. I wanted to take this away with you. Let's see how much we can get in. So, pair of jeans, another pair of jeans. Your best bet is probably packing tubes, honestly. Uh, jumper, another jumper. Uh, jacket, I know what you're thinking, wow, Orla. But listen, the flexibility will allow this to close. In here, I'm actually gonna place my shoes and a few other bits and bobs. So I'm gonna go shoes here, jumper, and another one, All right? Also, remember, got that expansion. You can expand this up, but look at this flexibility. Watch, this closes, and that's not even with the expansion open. Say I wanted to open up that expansion. There we go. Then you've got yourself more space on in the inside as well. I'm just gonna close that for now. Kind of remains in such a good shape as well. Like, I think it's just gorgeous. I'm gonna implement these, 500 mil. It's probably like your max. You could probably get a one liter in there. As mentioned, if you did want to put a tripod, then you could feed it through that. This kind of side pocket then gets tight. Gonna get tight because you've packed up the main body. Perfect place to just slide in your passport in there discreetly and then you look at the front and it's imprinted there so just being aware of that so top pocket still got the space but it is going to be compromised just because you are packing out that main pocket as well I'll place my keys in there airport let's see if i can fit my glasses in there there we go then that is it really all packed up pretty much you've got one pocket two pocket then your other compartments. We are going to fit our laptop here at the back. This is super easy then for going through security. You're not gonna have to open up that main compartment to get your laptop out. You obviously place your chargers in the main pocket as well. It's just that those other pockets do get a bit tight. So you wouldn't be able to fit a charger in that. Other electronics as well. You could try and fit here but as mentioned it is going to mold to that too then what i love about compression straps on the side is that i can expand this up and place my headphones here and that is that all packed up okay time for a wee fit check comfortability and see how this feels on the female body so this is what the backpack looks like on me for reference i am five foot six we are going to implement our hip belt 
I don't find the hip belt to be the most comfortable. I think that is just down to the fact that it's in an awkward position with me. Like I can feel it on my hips. I know it's hip belt, waist belt, wherever it is positioning on you. But between my waist and my hip is like bony. So then I can, kind of, this is so like structured that I can feel that. Notably, put in your dangle in the little pocket here. Apart from my hips just being bony there, it's absolutely grand. Kind of comes up to, I kind of want to show you, I'm really trying to just show you without showing you my whole body um, where this kind of sits. So here is my hip. This is my waist, it's just in between there. Anyone? I am five foot six for that. A little bit of a reference if that is helpful. Probably not. So that is fab. Once you get that all implemented in, that can be neat and tidy tucked away. Then the straps, you have so much material you can play with. It is right up against my back. You can put in those load lifters and that just gives a better fit as well. Sternum strap has plenty of material for you. I don't feel like there's loads of gaps there. Right up against my back. Really comfortable, flats around the odd girls. Love it. For a wee airline test, you have the requirements here for EasyJet. Unfortunately, it's just too much to fit as a personal item for EasyJet. It's not going to work. You could try your hardest to shove that in if you wanted to go ahead and do that, but because the back system is well kind of structured, it's just not given enough wiggle room. But for, come on, EasyJet, let me see. Grand, as long as you don't have, oh my Lord have mercy on us. As long as you don't have that expansion open in a broken box. So in terms of the water test, the water runs off the kind of front sides, all that, but just being aware that the zips are not coated. So really, really heavy rain, I would just be wary of. Okay, time for some pros and cons. Pros are definitely the materials on this backpack. They are amazing. Another pro is definitely how comfortable this backpack is. Their pattern, everything is amazing. And the fact that they've implemented load lifters is a And another huge pro for me is the lockable zips. Thank you. So some cons to think about. First up is that when you are, as mentioned, packing out that main compartment, some of the pockets, such as the one on the front here, do become compromised. I would have loved to seen a wee kind of secret hidden pocket here, maybe in behind where the luggage slit is. And I just really would have preferred coated zips. So that is the end of our review. We hope you enjoyed. And if you did, then want to consider joining the channel and hitting that subscribe button. If you do happen to have a wee gander on their website and you're thinking about purchasing this bag or any of their other bags, then we'd be forever grateful if you could use our links below. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.